why hello there so today i'm gonna do something a little bit different i asked my patrons they would like to share anything about themselves with me and ryan got in touch with me who has been a very loyal patron for quite some time so thank you so much ryan i appreciate you a lot and he's done me a little video so i figured i'm going to share that with you guys and do a little reaction to that let's just see how it goes shall we let's see how it goes let's roll that intro so here we are let's ignore the fact that ryan spelt my name wrong at the very top <laughs> there is no h but we shall get cracking i'm excited by this you know very excited indeed here we go Ryan Butler presents This is Fancer. Hey there, Dakara, or should I say Joanna? My name Hello. is Ryan Butler, and a couple of months ago, you made a video for your Patreon. Hey, sweetheart. Cats. I love um, cats. <laughs> we don't get to see your cat. As I was saying, you made a video for your Patreons, just talking a little bit about yourself, who you are behind the camera, and whatnot. And I thought it'd be a neat idea if your Patreons could do the same for you. Very good idea. Especially if they come from somewhere where you're not, which applies to my case. Hello from the States. Speaking Hello. of the States, I am from the state of Louisiana. It's this state right here. It's easily identified because it looks like a boot. Now, currently, <laughs> I live boot. in this state right here, and that's Texas. And Texas looks a lot oh, like... Oh, you moved next door. Texas. One thing you may not know about <laughs> me is that I actually used to be a YouTuber. I never had your following or anything like that, but I was getting pretty good at it. But the main nice, problem was nice. my gig was kind of reviewing movies, reviewing trailers or whatnot. And the problem with that was I was working full time. So when a trailer would drop I at nine o'clock in the morning, there's no way I could make a video until five o'clock at night. And probably by nine o'clock at night when I'm done with editing, I'm sure you know all about that. There's already a hundred reviews out on YouTube and just what's the point then? And you get lost. So, you get lost I just kind of hung that up. Now, for a while, I actually did think about doing reaction videos, but in the grand scheme of things, that's probably a horrible idea. Because oh, I if said, I were I to said. do such a thing, this is how it would look. Here's his entrance. I love your shirt, by the way. Cats. <gasps> I need that shirt. And the other life. reason I don't do reaction videos is that well, most of them look a lot like this. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be reviewing The Expanse. Season 1, Episode 1. Everyone on Patreon voted for this and you know what? I just can't wait to get into it. So, if you like this <laughs> oh, content, Ryan. go ahead and ring that bell so you can hear every time I upload a video. And if you want to see more like this, <laughs> hit that subscribe button right below. Just smash it. You know you want to. <laughs> that is so goddamn exhausting. It's just, I... I, I couldn't. I just yeah. couldn't. Now, I, a couple I of days ago, I reached I out to you because you knew I was going to be making this video, and I asked you if you had any specific questions for me, and you had two. So I'm going to answer those real quick. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Sorry, cats. So in no particular order, here we go. How did I discover you? Well, that's very simple. At the time, I was looking around for Walking Dead reactions because at the time, I was that's very much school. into The Walking Dead. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people who kind of fell out of The Walking Dead. Happens and I know you still like it and you still follow it and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to yuck your yum, you know. It's Thank everything you. subjective. And if you find something that you love, you know, just that's great. It's just that I no longer like that thing. Yeah, so, I get that. I sorry. get it. No, it's all good. But that's how I found it's all good. It. Now, the second thing you asked me is how did I discover Supernatural? And that's a very easy story. Well, kind of. It goes down a path. You'll see. Uh, I was waiting. around when Supernatural came out, but I didn't watch it because it was on the CW network. Um, at least it here is here in the States. And CW networks, uh, to some extent now, but especially then, were notorious for just having pretty people on and the content of the show not having much meat to it. Okay, so I understand that. I really didn't that. get a chance. Now, in 2009, I went on a deployment uh, for seven months. I went to a lot of neat countries, you know, and all that good stuff, like Spain. I learned to speak Spanish. And by Spanish, I mean, una cerveza, por favor. Gracias. <laughs> but while I was on the ship, there was a Marine who had seasons one through two on his hard drive. And that's, that's kind of the thing you do on deployment. Everybody swaps music, everybody swaps Love movies, that. everybody swaps t seasons of TV shows and all that good stuff. And 
because you need something to do. Would you quit chewing on that? <laughs> so like I said, I ended up getting like season one and season two of Supernatural. And I still didn't watch it. I only started getting into Supernatural when I was working for a defense contractor called L3 Communications, which is now L3 Harris. Uh, they change names every couple of years for reasons I just don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Supernatural was in syndication at that point, and I was working some very odd hours. I was working 12 hours on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so basically, Wowzers. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I had off. And with Supernatural being in syndication, I would catch some episodes here and there, and they would go in order. So I started to get to know the characters, and once I started to get to know the characters, I started to get an idea of the uh, construct of the show. One of the things I do like about the show is that it actually has something in common with Doctor Who, whereas you can have a new Doctor. It's the same character, but you're going to get a completely different performance, which just adds another layer to it. Yeah. And uh, Supernatural has that built in there as well. Just 100%, with a, 100%. a different world-building system. Yeah, and I get that. I thought that was kind of neat. There, there's a lot of things uh, interesting to the show that separate it from your normal CW show. Okay. I thought the first season suffered from what a lot of shows suffer from. It was basically trying to find its legs. It wanted to find out what it was. And They've all got to start somewhere, did. haven't they? But usually shows struggle through their first season. Supernatural certainly did that. And each season kept getting better and better until we lost Kripke, and then we had season six. <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, that was a stumble. Mm -hmm. We can't have anything worse than season six. And then we had season seven. It was and, a oh seven my God. for me. <laughs> but as you know, season eight was incredible, and they've all been incredible since. So, yeah, uh, anyway, that's my supernatural story. So, Thank a little bit more about that, me. Ryan. I'm a man of many masks. Sometimes okay. I wear this mask. Sometimes I wear this mask. Sometimes <laughs> I wear this mask. And then sometimes I wear this mask. I love that one. People oh my god, like that actually changes the look of your face. I can't what? figure out why. So you've been hearing me talk to my cats. Yes, it's true. I have cats. I know you're a cat lover, so I am a cat I lover. To introduce you to my guys. This is Piglet. Yes. Nuke. I got them at the Rockwell Animal Shelter when they were eight weeks old, and uh, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Uh, look I love at them, them all grown they up. They look after each other. They're actually inseparable, which I find rather. Oh adorable. my hair! And um, uh, I love them. They're great. I love them too. Although sometimes they don't always behave. And when that happens, I have the perfect thing. It's not a spray bottle. It's something far more creative. This what? is my Aztec death whistle. I don't know if you've ever heard one of these. But I have not. It lets out a blood-curdling scream. Imagine an approaching army of Aztecs all blowing these things. It would scare the hell out of you. Do we get a... Check it out. God. They love it. And speaking of reviewing movies, I thought I would go ahead while I'm here and uh, share some movies with you. That's something madness. I think you would enjoy. Okay. Uh, this is my first pick right here. I mean, I'm this enjoying is all of this. Won't You Be My Neighbor? It is a documentary about Fred Rogers. Now, everybody in the States knows who Mr. Rogers is. Uh, not necessarily in the UK. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. This is a very uplifting documentary. Uh, it's something that I think we all need because we really haven't. We really have been living upside down, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And I don't think, you know, any of us has felt normal since, I don't know, 2016. Yeah. Random number. My second pick for you is a little weird. This is Batman underneath the red hood. Now, I know you're kind of a nerd, but I don't know if Batman is your thing. The I only reason I out, picked no. this one out is because out of the animation under that the DC does, hood. this is one of the better ones. Okay. But the main reason I picked this out is that Jensen Ackles voices the Red Hood. I so see. I the third movie I wanted to recommend to you is actually Molly's Game. This is based on the true life of Molly Brown, and um, it's an incredible movie. It's the directorial debut of Aaron Sorkin, uh, who most people know as a screenwriter, and they know him as a screenwriter because he's a damn good screenwriter. The dialogue in this is absolutely incredible. No, it that. also it's features really a star-studded cast, Jessica Chastain, Kevin Costner, and the UK's own national treasure, Idris Elba. You can't beat that. <laughs> now, there are other things I could tell you about myself, like the fact that I play bass guitar. I nice, like to cook, nice. especially Cajun Creole food. Ooh. Uh, I collect rare minerals because my father was a soil scientist, and he was always bringing home interesting rocks, so geology became a hobby of mine, but it's kind of boring, isn't it? So... 
I don't I think, think I'm so. gonna end the video here. So with that being said, I'm gonna steal your signature move. Oh, Ryan! Ha, I got your move. Ryan! There's Ryan's links there on my screen, guys. Please go check him out. Oh my days. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Like, Ryan, thank you so much for taking the time to film it, to edit it, to send it to me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you're happy with me reacting to this. I won't obviously message you before posting the video, don't worry. But I appreciate you doing that. It honestly means a lot. And guys, if any of you are watching this video right now and thinking, you know, I'd love to do that, do it, record it, edit it, send it my way, I'll watch it. We can do this as like a series if you guys enjoy it. Like, I love this kind of thing. I love getting to know you guys a little bit better and allowing you to add some of your creativity in there as well. Like, Ryan with his humour and his edits there was fantastic. I loved your intro as well, by the way, Ryan. That was really cool. It's nice being on the other end as well, because obviously you watch me a lot of the time, so it's nice that I can get to <laughs> watch you. And uh, yeah, just get to know you. It's so much fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. And yeah, give Ryan some love for, for taking the time to do that. I hope to see you again soon for another video. Thanks guys. Bye.